Visionary Fire. Welcome back, my wizard. It's Lendon from VisionaryFire.com. To continue the God level green screen technique tutorial series, we're going to cover crazy techniques for how you remove that green edge on a key. This is industry professional nuke rocket science stuff that a lot of YouTubers don't know about. By the way, I'm recording this in my mansion over in Beverly Hills. You know, everyone's asking for a tour. And so you key out your footage, but there's still this nasty edge that you can't get rid of. How the heck are we supposed to get rid of this thing? Choke it, and it, now that eats away all of our motion blur when we choke it like that. Now there's these ugly round edges. How do we get rid of these green edges? So if you're a new compositor who works on all these different studios, there's industry professional methods for how you do it. And what I'm trying to do with these tutorials is reverse engineer how to do those nuke professional methods inside After Effects. And I do run an online school for how to get a nuke compositor position as quickly as possible. I'll show you the quickest steps, help people do it. I just think it's so amazing to work at these studios. You know, you can fly all around New York, Los Angeles, Atlanta. There's these awesome social events, like networking, the portfolio is a really great way to accelerate in your career and that consistent pay. But let's talk about how to get rid of this green edge. So the first thing you can do is use the advanced spill suppressor effect. So in the effects and presets, find the advanced spill suppressor. Okay, and you can see that makes the edge gray, but we still have that white line. So the problem isn't really solved. Now if in the method you choose standard, it can kind of darken the edge so it's a little bit less visible. So that kind of helps when we do that advanced spill suppressor. So in some cases, this will work. But you can see we can still see an edge here in a lot of places. So it's just not doing the trick. Now I'm going to show you the best way to remove the edge. And that is with the refine soft matte effect. But you had to do this in a specific way. So you can see off the bat, boom. So it pretty much got rid of that edge. Refine soft matte is killer. But there's going to be a problem that this calculate edge detail usually causes a lot of chatter and problems. And it's going to fill in little holes and it's really going to mess up your key. So you want to turn off this calculate edge detail. Turn that off. And so you can see down here, this decontaminate edge colors, that's what's doing the trick. Look at the back of this guy's jacket. We have before and after. Wow, look how that works. Now in some cases it might not work because it doesn't eat in far enough. And you can view the map of how far it's eating in. I can just check that. And so we can increase the radius to make it eat in further. So it'll get more of that green around the edge. Now I'm going to show you, because I like to explain to you guys exactly what these tools are doing. So if we have this solid here and then we apply the refined soft matte, you can see what it's doing. So it's taking this green color and just smearing it to the edge, taking this blue color, smearing it to the edge. And it depends on the radius that we set in the refined soft matte effect. Okay, and if we turn on the view map, you can see that it's just grabbing that section and smearing it to the edge. So this refined soft matte works amazing in so many different cases. But one problem can be that it, it begins to blur your edge. You can see we have a problem kind of around his head here where it's kind of like blurring his hair with his face. And if we have like a lot of detail that we need to keep around the edge, this refined soft matte effect can kind of blur the edge. So I'm going to show you some more tools to add to your tool belt for how you fix those edges. Believe it or not, we are going to apply the key light effect. And there is a secret feature down here in Keylight that most people don't know about is the edge color correction. Haha. <laughs> turn this on. And what you can do is, for example, turn down the brightness. Okay, then we're gonna increase the edge softness. And that's gonna kind of smear it into the effect a little bit. Alright, so if we maybe mix this with the advanced spill suppressor, boom! So that worked pretty good. Yes, yeah, so that key light edge color correction works really nice. And I'm going to show you again how this works on our little fractal egg here or whatever that is. And you can see as we increase the edge softness, that edge like that. You can see the edge grow just expands it, but the softness kind of blurs it in. So the difference in edge softness and edge grow. And the other super useful parameter in the edge color correction is the color balancing. So for instance, if the edge is too green, we can push it kind of to the purple. It's going to do the opposite of the green and kind of control the color of the edge. So that's a pretty powerful tool, this key light edge color correction. Boom, we are just nailing one killer trick after the other. Now I'm going to show you the next one, but listen, I know the real reason you guys are interested in this green screen stuff. You're not interested in making money and being responsible and taking care of your family. 
No, no, no. You just want to make fake green screen Instagram pictures to make your ex-girlfriend jealous of you at the top of the Burj Khalifa living your best life with eight supermodels around you twerking when in reality you're in your mom's basement on After Effects. But hey, you know what? That's actually a good way to save money. So let's do it. Now, if we zoom in right into this guy's ass and we choose the green color, we can turn on the view color correction mask. And I like to use the chroma mode. Turn this tolerance down to zero. And we're if we hold control, we can fine tune this softness value just to grab those greens like that. So you can see we selected all the green colors around the edge. So let's go back to our corrected layer and we can play with this color. So maybe we want to turn the hue to like a purple so it's kind of the opposite. Then we can decrease the brightness to make it darker. So whatever you have to do and then we can turn down the opacity of this change color effect. So I double click it here, scroll down to the compositing option and turn down the opacity so it kind of blends with the one we had before. And that actually worked pretty well. So before and after, whoa. So this change color can really do the trick sometimes. There's a node we use in Nuke called Hue Correct, which works way better than this little color change. Okay, we're having problems down here. Maybe make it a little darker. Yes, that is absolutely working. Maybe we'll apply the advanced spill suppressor after this. And booyah, look at those edges. Have you ever seen such luscious, sexy edges? You know what, you might be getting kind of scared because you're reminded of Windows 11 trying to force you to use Microsoft Edge. But hey, don't worry. Microsoft Edge just introduced a new feature called bookmarks. So maybe you should reconsider. I am gonna show you one final technique. And that is when you go to the key light and turn the view to final result. Now automatically it does this little algorithm where it kind of fixes the edge colors for you or it gets it kind of close. And nobody knows about this, but this screen balance parameter, everyone's like, what the heck does this do? Well, let me show you what it does. It plays with the colors of how it, how it changes the colors of the green screen. So if we turn it to this side, you can see that it kind of makes the colors, for instance, red, and we change it to the other side. It plays with the green colors in a different way. So depending on your shot, you change the screen balance and it'll kind of change the color of the edge. So we have our edges looking pretty good, but the problem is it really darkened our footage and we kind of see this grain, this grain on our footage. So we only want this effect to apply to the edge not the rest of the footage. All right, all right, so here's how we fix this. And pre-compose, so we'll call this the key. What we're trying to do is make the original footage cover everywhere except the very edge. So let's create the original footage by duplicating footage here and just removing all of the effects. Okay, so I'm soloing this layer, we see our original footage. Now if we do the track map, we can limit it to the keyed area. So we have the original footage existing where the keyed footage existed but we want to remove the original footage where the edge is. We do not want the original green edge. So we've got to basically choke the mat, but we cannot do a normal choke because look, if we do this choker and just start choking these dancers, choking people, you can see we get this ugly edge. Look, it's sharp and it's round, and we've talked about this before. You can't go around choking people. In fact, in this case, it doesn't look that bad, but in a lot of places it'll look a lot even worse than this. So what we're gonna do, I have a crazy technique that I learned from Nuke. I didn't know this was possible to do in After Effects. So here we're looking at the keyed footage. We are going to choke this in a very soft way. It's not gonna be that ugly, simple choker look. So we fill this in with a white color, and then we need to fill in the transparency with black. So we're gonna do a solid composite effect, choose the color as black. You would never have guessed this. We're gonna apply the vector blur effect. Ooh, so this is gonna choke the black and white in a very soft way. Look at that nice soft edge. And one amazing thing is the white colors will not exist where previously there was black. What I mean by that is when we do the regular choker, then it's gonna kind of round the edges and it's gonna make the footage be where it didn't exist before. If there was a hole right here, it would fill in the hole. And with this vector blur technique, the white will not exist where there was previously black. It's only gonna shrink it. And it's gonna do it in a very soft way. So this is the effect they have in Nuke. It's called Filter Erode. And we're doing this here in After Effects with the vector blur effect. Everything you can do, you can do it. You just gotta be creative. So here we're gonna choose the Luma Matte. And you can see now our original footage does not exist where the edge is. So we just gotta have a copy of our keyed footage at the very bottom. Let's remove all these effects from our keyed footage. 
And then our key footage just looks a little bit too dark. So we're gonna brighten it a little bit with curves. And you can see we have the green on our original footage as well. So we're gonna apply an advanced spill suppressor to our original footage, just like that. So, you know, for this exact clip, the key light final result method didn't work super well to fix the edges, but you know, the edges definitely look a lot better than they would have. So that my friend is the key light final result method of fixing the edge. I mainly wanted to show you this, this new paradigm for how you choke your mats. You do it with the vector blur effect. And we have this nice, soft, perfectly choked mat rather than the traditional way where it makes the edges super hard and rounds everything. That choke does not look nice. So check the description for other God level green screen techniques. And if you don't want to lose access to this channel, subscribe or visit me over at visionaryfire.com. See all the other crazy resources I'm building for you. I've had so much fun hanging out with you in this training video. My name is Lyndon for visionaryfire.com. And until next time, I'll leave you to it. Visionary Fire.